So why did I choose network engineering out of all the other fields and why I still feel like I made the right decision? So if you guys are still deciding on what field to get into, I'm going to make my case for network engineering. So I got started in network engineering back in 2021. And back in 2021, I did not know what field I wanted to get into. I graduated university and I had zero experience in tech. I did not know what field to get into. And for the first three months out of college, I had no job prospects. I was still deciding on software, data, cloud, and I could not make a decision. And um, my uncle was a network engineer and he said, why don't you become a network engineer? And at that time, I did not even know what a network engineer does. Right? I had no idea what it was. Even in school, I learned a little bit about it, but I wasn't like 100% sure on what it means, right? So at that time, I asked my uncle to kind of teach me and show me exactly what he does on the job, right? Because I was really big on, let me get job experience. And he once he showed me exactly what he did, I was like, this seems like a pretty cool field. And what really got me interested is when he showed me his checks, right? And I was like, damn, you get paid this much to be a network engineer. And the craziest thing is he didn't even have a college degree. He only had like an associate's degree. So I was like, like, wait, this guy's making this much money without a degree. And I just graduated from a tech degree. I graduated with computer information systems and I still can't find a job. So I was like, maybe he knows more than me. That's kind of why I really got into it. It was mainly because through proximity, I knew someone in my you know local group that was doing this particular field. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to figure it out. Um, but looking back, I'm happy I made this decision to get into networking. And the one biggest reason why I believe networking is one of the better fields in tech right now to get into is because there's very little competition right now, as opposed to all the other fields. I know so many people from data. I know so many people who are trying to get into cybersecurity and are struggling to to really get into that particular field because there's so much damn competition, right? Everyone's trying to get into those fields, but I feel like network engineering, there isn't that much people actually in it right now. And the people that are in it really don't even know it that well. So you're competing with not that much people if you really think about it, right? So that's kind of why I picked it. But also I want you guys to know that what makes networking so cool, right? This is what what actually shocked me is when I learned about what we're actually doing and what is actually going on. So you're watching this video and for you to even have this video broadcasted to you on YouTube is only because there is fiber optical cables underwater that's being sent to a data center and then being sent to your house directly right now in real time. And it's the most baffling, most craziest thing ever. And the fact that that exists makes me like say like, damn, like I need, I want to learn everything that needs to be learned about this particular field. Right. And uh, that's kind of what the cool thing about it is. But not only that, the, one of the cooler things about it as well is just that I'm actually getting hands on, right? I get to actually touch physical equipment. One of the coolest things about this field is I get to touch physical hardware, even though I never had to do it, but there is that physical aspect to it. I never liked the idea of being locked to a desk, being chained to a desk, focusing, looking at your computer all day, just typing code away and never actually being at a physical data center. And whenever my, my companies, we get to do a data center tour and whenever we get to go to the physical data centers, touch equipment, see the actual stuff that we're dealing with is it's actually remarkable. Um, and, and one of the cool things about the field is you're, you're, you're always the, the middleman for everything, right? So maybe it's, you have the systems team that needs help or you have, you know, the hardware team that needs help. We're always the ones who are the direct lines of communication. So this field gives you quite a bit of responsibility. There's so many different things that you're going to be responsible for, for this particular role. And for you to have a uh, success in tech, I always understand that, like, what is the backbone of tech? Obviously there's computers, but then there's also a network. And without that network, there is nothing that's ever going to work. Right. And that's kind of why I decided on it. And I was able to land my first ever position in this field was your experience. I I had never worked help desk, never worked sysadmin, never worked any IT role. My, I learned from my uncle, got the skills and I landed my first job as a network engineer and absolutely changed my life. I mean, I've been doing that ever since for the past four years and I've loved working at it and I've been helping other people also do the same. If you guys need help on how to become a network engineer, just click the link in my description. I'll show you exactly step-by-step -step on how to become one. But also one of the cool things about networking is that you get a decent amount of like things to learn about, right? There's, you get to learn about, about wireless, you can learn about network security, you can learn about uh, cloud networking. There's so many different areas within networking you can get into. I mean, and the cool, cooler things about it is you can work in different environments. You can work at an MSP, right? Which is a managed service provider. You can also work at a data center, right? And become a network engineer there because there's network engineers over there. You can also work at an internet service provider, which is I, which is what I worked at. And that was a huge, huge network. And we're pretty much the ones who are uh, making sure you're, you're, you're able to even have internet from your cable company. You can also work at a office building or a school, right? Every school or office building, you know, they have tons of computers and end devices, uh, wireless access points, and they need people on site to be able to manage that. And that's where your network engineer would come into, into play for that. So it's a very broad field, but also at the same time, it's very niche because you're focusing on one area within tech, which is networking. But on top of that, you're focusing on configuring, troubleshooting, you know, and you're, you're doing so many different things. And it, I've had a great time working within it. And, you know, I've looked at other fields, right? I've looked at software. I, I've I've spent so much time even doing data structures and algorithms before because all my friends were doing it, right? 
I had a ton, a good amount of friends who are trying to get into software development. And I've seen, they, you know, they make good money, um, but they also tell me how hard it is to even get in and how difficult it is to even go through the interview process, right? And when I saw that, I was like, wow, like it's much more difficult. And a funny story, I used to actually work with a guy who he was trying to be a software engineer. He could not find a job in software development. And then he actually got a job as a network engineer with like when I joined my company and I asked him like, hey, you're a software engineer. Why are you in a network? Why are you doing? Why are you a network engineer now? He said, I could not find a job as a software engineer. And I was like, damn, that's actually kind of crazy. But he was able to still use his software development skills to build automation scripts for our networking team. So I was like, it was a win win. So I was like, the more I think about it is it doesn't matter like whatever skills you learn, maybe in university or what you learn from courses you've been taking, you can still use those skills to get into network engineering. So there is a broad, broad, it's a broad field, right? There's so many different things you can do. And you can also work remote, right? I currently work remote as a network engineer. You could also work on site. You can do so many different things within this particular field. And uh, it's a field that pays well, right? I started off making like about 80K, 70K ish per year as my first job. And then I was literally able to double that later on in my career. So that's one of the cool things about this field is that you can get to grow your salary over time um, within it and, and get into higher level positions. And the good thing is the network is still the network. It doesn't matter where you work. You're still gonna, you're still gonna have to know the OSI model you're still gonna have to know some of the terminology that we use. You're still gonna have to know all these certain things. But when you learn it, it's gonna be super easy for you to break in at some point. So that's kind of the, the the purpose of uh, of, um, of networking and why I chose it. I've been so grateful to work in this particular field. I've been in, in it for about four years at, uh, and counting right now. And uh, it's kind of crazy that I've delved into this journey. I never thought I'd end up in this field. I always thought I'd be like in some other field in tech, uh, but I ended up being the network engineer and I'm, I'm very grateful to pick this field. And if you guys need help on deciding, literally just put a comment in the comment section below and I can kind of give you some details on it. Um, and if you guys are also need help on how to become a network engineer, I have a program that literally shows beginners or people who are already in tech exactly step by step on how to become a network engineer as fast as possible. So just click the link in my description. If you guys need help on that. But with that being said, that is kind of why I chose network engineering and it's an awesome field to work in. And um, it's a field that I can see myself working in eventually. And my goal eventually is to maybe get into network security or just like any sort of field within that um, because I just have so much joy for this particular field. So that's a little bit about me and how I got started. And if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you guys want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. With that being said, everyone, thank you guys so much for your time. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Peace.